The writing process for me, I think, means a space that I need to get into. I need to create a container for myself to shift my mindset so that I can get into creative mode because I think most of the time, most of us are running around our analytical brain just getting the administrative details of life done. Okay, so I think any process, the writing process not being much different, is is a combination of the overall arc, so the process of starting with the first word on the first page on the first day and ending with a finished product that you're taking to market, that you're signing in chapters. But part of that process is composed of, of day to day. It's more than just, you know, creating an outline or, or something you've learned in university and writing essays. And it's what brings you to life to to get that spark you want. Uh, having a writing process begins when I really think about where I want the story to go, when the story comes to me, at least in its major points, and then I think about that in enough detail to have an outline and sit my butt in my chair long enough to get it written to go from outline point to outline point. The writing process doesn't mean much, really. I never think about writing as a writing process. I think about the task at hand and the best way of tackling it. Uh, when I think about my writing process or how I go about my writing process, the first thing for me is it's always been evolving. Um, I think every writer has their own process. And when you're first starting, I was really interested in asking other writers, how do you do this? And what's your process? And I tried out a little bit of everything. Actually, I've learned a lot from other writers. And probably in the last year, I've totally refined my process. Now that I start with character, and then I do setting, and then the plot evolves out of that. I used to start with plot. But ultimately, in a book, the character is the most important part. So I've decided that's where I have to put my focus first. You know, Flaubert said the writer has to be like God everywhere and nowhere. What I take he meant is that when you write, you have authoritatively to create the, a totally new world. And all the characters, they're like puppets in a way. The daily process is I wake up and I'm so excited in the morning to hit my manuscript. So the first thing I try to do is just get some coffee and get to the computer because that's when my mind is the freshest. That's when I'm excited to see the characters, find out what they've been doing overnight. Our challenge is to find out what that is. What is our process? So I go, I have to do a ritual to shift my mindset so that, and create a physical environment. So I have to create an inner environment and a physical environment to do that. You have to, you have to be in charge. On the other hand, it has to be hidden. Nobody should see the underside of it, what you're doing to create this cohesive world. So that's the writing process. How it happens is a mystery. I'm sometimes asked if I had a plan or how did I want to approach my very first book. Um, I didn't have a plan other than I wanted to write an entire book. I wasn't sure I could do it. I didn't know if I could sustain a story for 300, 400 pages. So my big plan was to actually do word by word, page by page, until I could get to a completed manuscript. And it was a bad manuscript. <laughs> There was no plan. Uh, I was living in Korea. Uh, I was studying martial arts. I had a lot of free time on my hand. I had the old 512K Mac, uh, the first Mac computer. And I just started writing a book. I never even thought about um, getting published. I wrote two complete manuscripts and then someone read it and said, hey, this is like a real book. And then I started thinking, well, gee, maybe I should do something with it. Um, but I, I don't know. I just fell into it. I think I'd read so much. I didn't really have anything to read. So I decided to write my own book. Eventually, I, you know, my style is I have to go somewhere. I had to go to the Gulf Islands or I went to India and I just had a schedule every day where I really didn't have anything else going on because I needed to immerse myself in the characters or immerse myself in the topic and not have anything else I had to be dealing with. Because then I could go to a depth that I couldn't go to when I'm writing in the city and trying to make a living at the same time. The first book was a collection of short stories and short stories accumulate, accumulated over the period of years. So it was a slow process. Each story takes a long time to develop. 
and I didn't particularly had a plan okay now I have six or ten stories I'm going to look for a publisher editor whatever I was just laboriously working on the stories and then the moment came when I said to myself okay well maybe that's enough let's try and then I was very discouraged because I get about 20 which is not a lot no no and no and I went to Seattle to the writers conference and couldn't even get an interview so I said to myself okay all I want to do is to write so I should proceed and then I kept writing and I had a trust in fate somehow I knew somehow that the circumstance will cling if my writing is good it will be known I had that faith so I put probably less efforts into looking for an agent for a publisher than is normally assumed by my books it was a lot of effort I'd rather write any moment I spend on looking and going to conferences but still probably it wasn't as huge uh, because every time I didn't have a success I said to m I didn't have success said to myself okay I'll go back to writing something will happen and something did a small publisher NBC uh, noticed my book I sent my, my book he loved it he published it and we went from there as far as having a plan for the first book I had really spent a lot of time thinking through where I wanted the story to go where I saw the characters going and just wanted to share the story that I had come up with with other people who might be interested in the same sort of things so uh, I'd love to tell you that it was a lot more complicated than that, but it was really a matter of falling in love with the story and wanting to share it with other people. Lately, um, Elizabeth George lives about a mile away from me, and I've been watching, she came into my workshop last year and explained her process to my group, and I started um, studying what she does, and I've kind of picked up her process now. I'm doing character sketches, um, letting, I'm planning the characters build the plot finally instead of I always plotted the story out first and then filled it with characters now I'm filling out the characters and I'm hoping the plot flows out of that so it's kind of an experiment there after about 50 books I'm doing it somewhat differently so I've got usually a good three or four hours every morning where I'm feeling creative I'm feeling alive and that's the magic part of the process that's the mysterious part where I don't really understand what it is that makes me feel good about it but by the end of that, when that period ends, I usually feel like I've gotten something done. That's the creative part. After that comes the work, the slogging, the turning the creative process into something that can be sold. So that involves editing, that involves plotting, that involves analyzing the characters, figuring out which ones have um, which roles in the story, which, um, like, you know, if you're if you, if, if you have two characters serving the same purpose, it's, there's a lot of analyzing that goes on. And so I do that with the less creative times, but it's still, you need your mind to be sharp. You just, it's just a bit less magical. The process of streamlining my process took years and it's still going on, it never stops. It never stops, you, uh, you start to, and, it, and it's different tailored to the project. You know, how much research do you do? Uh, where can you streamline the research? The first time you research something that requires some research, a good chunk of research, it, you tend to overread. Uh, you tend to go nuts and you can get lost in the research process. Um, and then the next time you have to do something that's research, you tend to be a little more selective in thinking of the finished product. So I think it, it it happens over years in each project. You learn a little more about what your process is for getting it done efficiently and high quality at the same time.